Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another spa day video. So if you're not familiar with my spa day videos, perhaps you're brand new to my channel. If you are, welcome. But basically all I do in these spa day videos is I'll apply a mask. Well, I'm hoping we all apply masks and just sit and chill. Just relax for a couple of minutes. And we sit down and chit chat about different topics that are going around YouTube, more specifically the beauty community. Of all the videos that I sit down to film, edit, and upload for you guys here on my channel, these spa day videos are by far my favorite to film just because the general vibe I get from this video is so chill, relaxed, laid back. I just love how open everyone is in the comment section to everyone else's opinions because the number one thing that I talk about here in my channel when it comes to subject matter like this is that we all need to respect each other's opinions. We're all gonna have different opinions. If everyone felt the same way about everything, imagine how boring life would be. There is nothing wrong with having a different opinion from like say someone like me or someone else in the comment section, but please if you're gonna have a discussion or a debate in the comment section, please do so respectfully and remember that everyone's gonna have different opinions not everyone is going to agree with you or disagree with you different strokes paint the world and that's what makes this world so incredible so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get started so what I'm gonna do right now is go wash my hands and we'll come back and apply this puppy to my face before we get started, I want to do a quick shout out to all the new subscribers here at my channel. At the end of last month, I think I was at like 4,200. As of today, we are at 4,600 and climbing. So thank you to everyone who has taken the time out of what I'm sure is a very busy day in your life to sit down and watch my videos. Not only that, but subscribe. It means the world that you guys do so. And as always, if you guys have any requests for future videos, any topics you want to have discussed in videos like these, feel free to leave them down below, you guys. I always take what you guys want to see into account, obviously. One of my favorite parts of being a YouTuber is hearing from you guys, whether it be on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, here in the comment section of my videos. If you add me on any of my social media networks, you guys know I always add you back. I don't charge you for follow backs because that's fucking ridiculous and very stupid. So with that being said, all my social media links will be down below. Add me on those and let's have a chit chat. All right, so let's get started with this video. So I'm going to go ahead and just take some of this mask out and it says to apply a thick layer all over the face. <gasps> you could smell the real cucumber in this. I don't like cucumber. I don't like the way it smells, but I know it does wonders for your skin. All right, so our very thick layer is on. I'm gonna go wash my hands one more time. I'll be right back to get this topic started. So I feel like I should preface this video by saying that in no way, shape, or form am I trying to say in this video that if you need help, you shouldn't ask for it. That's not what I'm trying to say whatsoever. From the richest person in the world to the poorest to everyone in between, everyone's gonna need help sometimes. It's inevitable. So I guess my first question for you guys to answer, if you'd like in the comment section, is how do you guys feel about it? And under what circumstances would you donate? would you feel comfortable donating to these YouTubers? Now before anyone makes this point in the comment section, because some people like to use this against me, I understand 100% that it is up to you guys what you want to spend your hard-earned money on. I get it, because you go out and you earn it, you work for it day to day, so if you want to spend a couple hundred dollars and donate it to a specific YouTuber, you can very well do so and no one can ask you why. However, I do feel like these creators can be a little bit more transparent about what that money is going to be put towards, because for the most part, not every Everyone does this, but most people do this. Most of these creators, if they create things like Patreons or GoFundMes especially, they'll give you like a general idea of what the money is going to be going to, but they don't really put into specifics where that money is going to go to. Me, personally, I feel like no one should donate to anybody unless they're being 100% transparent as far as what that money is going to be going to exactly. Now, what I have an issue with, especially when it comes to the people we're going to be discussing in today's video, is the fact that these people could very easily solve their own issues if they would just suck up their pride, stop what they're doing, go get a job for a couple months, get their bills back on track, save up enough to be able to live off of for a few months, or at least until the stupid ad block bullshit is over with, and then come back and not have to worry about anything. You know what I mean? Like, there are ways to do things. It's not a matter of not being able to, because they're fully capable of doing so. It's purely a matter of not wanting to. But unfortunately, as adults, there are going to be situations sometimes where we have to do things we just do not want to do. It's part of being an adult, and it sucks, but we have to do it. So this mask was coming off, so I just peeled it off all the way, and then I just put a little bit of the avocado and oatmeal clay mask underneath my eyes to kind of just deep clean my pores. But anyways, the best example of a campaign gone wrong was the Amy Slayton one. That's the best example I have that I was directly involved in. Long story short, Amy Slayton had made a GoFundMe video because her sister Tammy was in the hospital. Now, supposedly, according to Amy, she was pretty much on her deathbed. She wasn't going to make it through. They were already making funeral arrangements, and the GoFundMe 
Tammy was created to pay for her coffin because Tammy is a larger person, thus they needed to make a larger coffin for her to fit in. So fast forward a few days after that video is put up and the campaign is made, Tammy is miraculously back home eating chips, drinking soda, eating junk food, and being happy like nothing had ever happened, like she was just not on her deathbed. People notice, I notice, I call her out, and the rest is history. <laughs> But the number one thing that I wanted to bring up was the fact that in a live stream she did a few months ago, she did a live stream a couple months ago to try to clear her name with Miss Fucking Wonderful, Yaba, Ron, that whole trashy crew they have. They basically are coaxing Amy into saying what they want her to say, and in that video they make her say that in her GoFundMe campaign, the original video, she was specific about where the money was gonna go to because she says the money was gonna go to bills. So the fact that she used it for her household bills, so the rent, the electric, whatever else, she pays as far as like home bills. That was all justified because she says it in the original GoFundMe campaign video. However, I have that video for you guys and here is the clip where she clearly states that the money, if Tammy were to stay alive, was going to go towards Tammy's medical bills, which as you guys know, that she clearly stated in the live stream, that money did not go to those medical bills. They went to everything else but the medical bills. If y'all could do, if y'all could do that, a pity, nickel, I hope so happy. Tammy being so big and something does happen. Her coffin is gonna cost them more because they have to triple the size of the coffin. So this GoFundMe account will be for Tammy's funeral if she dies. She's not dead yet. So please pray that she gets better. Please pray that we will not have this funeral. And when she gets home, the money will go to help us pay off our medical bills. Amy didn't do anything wrong with collecting that money because she did say that she would pay it to bills. Our medical bills. <laughs> I bring that up because that's what I mean about being transparent about what the money is going to be going to because it's not fair if these people are going to be donating to you under false pretenses. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's right if people were advertising this campaign to be going towards one thing but then use it towards something else? I personally don't think it's right. I think it's very, very wrong and very, very shady. People are donating to you this money for one specific reason and that reason only. They're not donating it to you because you can use it for whatever you want to. If that is the reason why you're making these campaigns and if you were more honest about it, I highly doubt you would have any donations. Now, like I said in past videos about this whole thing, if Amy had been upfront and honest to her subscribers about where that money was going to go to, and if she hadn't made this whole bullshit story up about Timmy on the brink of dying, I don't think anyone would have had an issue donating a couple of dollars here and there to her. However, she lied continuously, made people feel like shit for not believing her, made people feel like shit and made people look like assholes for calling her out, even though she fucking deserved every bit of it. If you do something shitty, why shouldn't someone call you out for it, you know what I mean? And in the end, all that money didn't go to medical bills. She claims that she gave the money to her mom, that her mom paid all the bills with it, but I highly doubt that because not too long after, we saw an influx of hauls of clothing, nail kits, phone case DIY bullshit, beads, keychains, makeup, you name it, this bitch went out and bought it for herself with our money. So, but to me, that's the kind of bullshit that I fucking can't stand. And that's the reason why I made these videos is because I feel like people who do that kind of shit, people like Amy and Kendall, they are the ones who are causing more of the issues here on YouTube because they're making it hard for people to trust these YouTubers, to trust these people with their money they're donating. And quite frankly, they're the reason why people have a hard time trying to donate people on GoFundMe because they can't believe anything anymore because of bullshit like this. And honestly, can you blame them? I can. Now here's the next question. Do you guys think it is right or fair of these YouTubers to ask their subscribers for money to further improve their channel? So let's say for camera equipment, for lighting equipment, for desks, for chairs, for whatever they might be using it for, to improve their channel. Do you guys think it's right of them to be asking for that kind of money for that purpose? Me personally, I'm gonna have to say absolutely fucking not. If you want a new chair, if you want a new desk, if you want better lighting, if you want a better camera, if you want a better backdrop, why is it up to your subscribers to pay for that stuff when you're the one who thinks you need it but you honestly don't? Your backdrop could be a fucking AC unit and no one would give a fuck as long as your content is good. Just because you go out and buy the most expensive camera, the most expensive backdrop, the most expensive lighting does not mean the quality of your content's gonna be any better. It just means your picture's gonna be better. Your lighting's 
content's gonna be better, your backdrop's gonna be better. So with that being said, how do your subscribers benefit from that? How do they benefit from donating money to help you improve your setup? Because the way I see it, they're the ones giving you the money. No money's coming out of your pocket for these improvements, but they're the ones paying for it. You're the one reaping all the benefits, but all they did was just donate money. Is that not a valid question? I mean, I think it is. Now, I'm going to use Kendall as an example for this because she's the most recent one who's been doing this kind of shit. As of right now, Kendall has 763 patrons and she's making $2,453 a month. Now, her reward program for each donation to me is fucking stupid. If you donate $2 or more per month, you don't get a reward, you're just there to support her, which whatever, two bucks is nothing, not a big deal. If you donate $5 or more per month, you are a Kendall Ray supporter tier 2. You will get 3 extra entry into all giveaways, must still enter manually, access to certain videos before anyone else, access to patron-only live streams, posts including sneak peeks, and our patron-only messaging system and community. How cool. And the biggest thing you get for donating $5 a month or more is you get a merchandise discount, which is coming soon. But once again, like I said in my last video about the situation, why the fuck are you putting money towards merchandise when you can't even pay for your house or your bills? Alright, so now we're up to tier 4, so if you donate $20 or more per month, you get everything that tier 3 gets, all the early access, sneak peeks, all that bullshit, but instead of getting only 3 extra entries into all giveaways, you get now 5 extra entries, she'll follow you on Twitter, and you get a personalized handwritten thank you note from Kendall herself. Does that sound like it's worth 20 bucks? Because it doesn't to me. Does no one else feel the same way as me? Am I the only one out here? Does anyone else think that this is fucking stupid? Like, how narcissistic, how egotistical, like, how special do you think you are to charge people 20 bucks, 50 bucks a month in order for them to get a fucking follow back from you on Twitter? Like, what? Now, if you're a tier 5 supporter, if you donate 50 bucks or more per month, you are getting one hell of a fucking deal. You get pretty much everything that all the tiers get, except you're even more special because now your name is going to be featured in all of her description boxes and all of her future videos. Now, what makes this even more ridiculous to me is the fact that if you want to see anything on her Patreon page, like as a guest, you can't. You can't see anything. You have to donate $5 or more per month to see her Patreon content. Overall, guys, I just, I, I cannot get behind this shit. <laughs> I don't agree with it. However, I'm not someone who thinks that just because I don't like it, it's gonna stop happening. That's not the case. I know that. I know it's gonna keep happening whether or not I agree with it or not. I understand that. Because as long as people keep donating, this shit's gonna still keep happening. But I just don't think it's right that these YouTubers think it's okay to rely on you guys so heavily when it comes to things like paying their bills, paying for their upgrades to their channel, but not offering anything back to you guys. And I understand that there's people out there who like to do things without getting anything in return, but when it comes to things like this, when it comes to people's money, I think they should get something in return for it, you know what I mean? Not a fucking Twitter follow back, not a fucking thank you note, I mean thank you notes are nice, but that should be happening anyways without having to fucking pay for it. That's just common decency, or is that just me? To me, I think it's stupid to donate to these people who are fully capable of fixing their own problems on their own if they would just get off their fucking asses and do something about it, especially when there are people who definitely need the help more than they do. There are people, like I said in my last video, there are people who are living around the world who are homeless, starving, no shelter, no clothes. They would be happy getting a fucking pair of socks, a nice pair of underwear, a fucking t-shirt to wear over their bare bodies, like, but people like Kendall and Amy, and there are so many others who do this bullshit, but those are the two main ones that I've experienced personally, who pull shit like this, who try to make their subscribers feel bad for them to donate money to them or to send them endless supplies of shit they don't need. If I were these people, those products would not be going to someone like Amy, because she's fucking selfish, she's ungrateful, and she's proved many, many times over and over again that she does not give a fuck about you guys as her subscribers. What I do on a month-to-month -month basis is I'll gather all the stuff that I have in my collection that is perhaps brand new that I got sent to me through PR, or stuff that I picked up at the drugstore that I haven't used yet, even palettes that I've maybe swatched once or twice but I've never actually used, I'll put it into a box and I'll donate it to my local women's shelter. You have no 
idea how much those kind of things are appreciated and how much they need stuff like that like the basic necessities bras underwear toiletries tampons pads toothpaste toothbrushes hair brushes shampoo conditioner body wash feminine products as far as like feminine hygiene you have no idea how much these people need those kind of things and here they are just tunneling it right to Amy Slayton she makes good money on YouTube it's not as much as anyone else who's like a bigger bigger youtuber than she is but she makes good money she is fully capable of going out and buying this shit herself but instead she resorts to making slick little comments hinting oh I'm out of this I'm out of that I want that so badly you don't have to send me anything but if you do it's greatly appreciated but you can obviously tell it's not appreciated because she never uses it you have no idea how much those lipsticks and those palettes and those eyeshadows would mean to the women in these battered shelters because if you think about it these women are getting out of really bad situations whether it's being homeless being in a terrible abusive relationship these women have very low self-esteem and you have no idea what it would mean to them to own a lipstick they could put that lipstick on and that's probably the one thing that would make them feel good about themselves for the first time in a very long time I've seen it happen myself something as simple as a fucking face mask this would mean the world to them as well because it means they're taking care of themselves they're giving themselves a spa day they're able to sit down and put a mask on and maybe perhaps talk to their counselor or talk to whoever and just get things off their chest like everyone needs that not only women there are shelters all over the country women men children doesn't matter what the case may be there are people who need this stuff more than people like Kendall or Amy and I know it's going to someone who appreciates it they need it they use it, they love it even if it's for one fucking second when they apply it they feel happy like to me knowing that these products that I have in my closet knowing these products that are in my backup makeup drawer are going to people who will actually appreciate it and use it and be thankful for it and get happiness out of it that to me is more worth it than anything in the world so if you're someone who has like maybe a lot of extra makeup that you never use extra clothing maybe your kids are going out of their clothes fast and you need to clear them out quickly donate them to orphanages donate them to women's shelters donate them to thrift stores there are a lot of places that will take donations for people who are homeless I learned my lesson the hard way with the whole Amy Slayton bullshit and donating to her and now I'm telling you guys learn from my mistakes don't trust these youtubers and lastly if you're gonna be asking for donations I think it's only fair that you should be able to provide proof to those who ask for it now if you don't give a shit then that's good good for you more power to you but if you are someone who is a lot more aware about things like like this like I am there's nothing rude or wrong about asking for proof of where that money went it's your money you donated it and you have every right to ask that question so anyways guys with that being said what do you guys think about the situation do you think it should stop do you think it's getting worse do you think it'll get better after the ad boycott is over with I personally don't think it will anyways guys I'm gonna get on out of here leave your comments down below let's have a talk if you guys have any requests for future videos and future topics leave those all down below as well and I will see you guys in my next video I love you guys so so much Bye.